Hello everybody! So, um, this is my get to know me tag. I'm going to go through the get to know me tag questions. A few of them I'm not answering just simply because I well, like hair colour and like, and, and I change things up often with like hair colour and stuff that it, it's going to be irrelevant in the week. Um, first question is your name, so John Park. Um, nicknames, so um, I as well put my alter egos on here, so uh, Mama. T, Nana T, uh, Tina, uh, Tina Parda. Uh, also, I won't just answer to anything really, so anything really, just throw, throw a name at me and I'll answer. Um, I, oh, I also answer to my mother's name as well, so I will answer to Simone Clark as well, because sometimes I answer a phone when I'm at my parents and they think that I'm my mother. Anyway, uh, birthday, we'll say November. And I'm a Scorpio. So that's the next question as well. So that's enough. Occupation, currently unemployed. So appearance, I'm... I'm only going to actually answer piercings and tattoos in this one. Uh, piercings, expander, that's pierced, so I wear earrings in that sense sometimes. Um, I used to have my tongue pierced. Uh, then, only tattoo I have, eye forest. Next one, um, so first, so first best friend. Nathan Jevons, um, he better be watching this because I will hurt him if he doesn't. Um, award, um, I'd say I can remember in primary school getting some kind of kindest person, most generous person, something like that kind of award in like year one reception sort of time. I was very proud of it, it was on my wall literally from the day I got it until I moved out of that house when I was like 10. Um, I'm not going to answer the first sport because I don't do sports. So no. Um, first real holiday, and um, the only place I've been abroad is Portugal. Um, I went as early as about 6, up until about 11, 12, possibly. Um, um, and my first real concert was with my first girlfriend and my last girlfriend, um, and that's to see Kelly Clarkson. Um, absolutely love Kelly Clarkson, I still love Kelly Clarkson now. Favourite film, I'd always say Practical Magic to that. Um, I just have an obsession with it, like witches, witchcraft. And, Sisterhood, so it. Uh, favorite color. The more you watch this show, the more you'll understand this answer. I have not got one. The more colors, the better. The many colors that I can put out there, the, the better I feel. So yeah. Uh, favorite song. At the minute, I'm really obsessed with the new Panic at Disco album. I know. I think it came out like last year or something. It's still the latest one. Um, I'm just obsessed with that at the moment. Um, I've got it pretty much on repeat constantly. So I'm not, I, I can't really ever say a specific song. I've got different songs for different occasions and different reasons why I love it. Um, but I'll say at the moment it's, it's my favourite album. That's the closest I can get. Um, can't really answer favourite restaurant because I like experiencing new places, new foods, trying different things. So I don't tend to go back to the same restaurant very often. Um, it tends to only be when there isn't anything new, I keep going back to one that I particularly liked at that moment in time, but I don't have any particular favourites in the minute. Um, favourite store? I think I'm going to say River Island um, for menswear. For women's wear, it's everything. I, I, I don't have a favourite, so menswear, I don't say River Island. Um, online store though, Tea Turtle. Favourite book? Um, if you asked me this a year ago, I would have said Philip Pullman's Dark Materials Trilogy. Um, however, last year my other half introduced me to The Lunar Chronicles um, by Marissa Mayer, and I absolutely obsessed with all four books. I know there is a fifth one, which is actually before the fourth one. It's like a smaller book. I haven't read that one yet. I need to get hold of that one, but I'm struggling to find it. I can only find it online. Um, so I am going to buy that and read that as well because I want to get the full set. Favourite magazine, I don't really read magazines. When I was younger, like teenager, I wanted to be a fashion photographer. So I did collect Vogue's. That's the only kind of magazine that I've ever really collected. Favourite shoes, um, for menswear, any kind of desert boot. I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed. I want one every single colour of the rainbow. I love desert boots. Women's wear would be my favourite shoes were these knee-high PVC boots that had lace all the way up from the toe all the way up to the like, knee. I've, uh, I wore them for a pride event with the youth group I used to be a part of 
left them at the youth group when we went back to change for the night out. Went back the following week to get all my stuff and they vanished. Uh, currently taken, um, as I said, other half is in the, their playing with stupid computer games. Uh, wearing, well obviously I'm wearing clothing because you can see what I'm wearing. Again, tea turtle. Tea turtle, yes. In future, do I want children? I'm not going to ever say that I don't want children. I'm never going to say that I am aiming to have children. If children happen, they happen. If they don't, they don't. It's not a priority in my life at all. Um, I want to be married, yes, ideally before I'm 30. Um, that's kind of the goal. But I want a, a decent length engagement first, so I'd like to be engaged for a year, two years before we got married. Um, future careers in mind. I Two things. One, I would like to dream of one, one day having my own cafe, cocktail bar, something like that, some nice food drink related thing where people come and have a good time. Um, and I would like to think that there's a possibility that I might be able to be a drag superstar one day. It's highly unlikely since I don't dance or sing, but you know, where do you want to live? Right, in the future, I, I can't really say that there's any specific places that I would really like to live um, because I kind of feel as though I haven't explored, so I don't know what places I really like to be in. Um, because at one point I would have answered somewhere like Chicago. No, I wouldn't have said Chicago. Um, I would have said somewhere like New York City or San Francisco because I absolutely love those cities from television and from things I've seen. I've never been to either, so unless I'd actually, I'd actually want to visit both a few times before I could actually set in stone that I'd like to live in either of those. As regards in the UK, there is a part of me that would like to live in Edinburgh because I visit there quite a lot. I have friends that live in Edinburgh, I like all the history and everything, but the cost wise of living in Edinburgh, I don't think I'd ever be able to earn enough to live there, so it's not really realistic. Um, and I think I'd end up, and as well the cold. It, we live in the northeast and it's cold enough for me. I move up further up north, I'm gonna end up committing suicide because I'd hate my life. Um, so that's just not gonna happen. My beliefs. Right, this is quite simple. Um, I do not believe in God, um, I believe in miracles. Do not believe in the love at first sight, it's lust at first sight, because if you, it's the first time you see someone, the, I, the thing that you actually want is to have sex with them. It's not that you want to you know, get married, have a family, all that. And even if it is that, it's still lust that you're, you're wanting. It's you're wanting something that you haven't got yet. Love is something that you develop as you get to know someone. Um, it's that for a moment. Um, I do believe in ghosts. Um, Yes, um, so I'm a bit of a spiritualist, um, I come from a bit of a spiritualist background and things, although I don't believe in things like God and things like that, I don't think that one person has made everything or anything like that, I am a bit, have a bit more of a Scientology kind of view on that with, you know, Big Bang Theory and everything. Um, aliens I do believe in, I do believe that, there, that we can't be the only living I'm the only living entity in the entire galaxy, or entire multiverse, whatever. I believe that there are other beings, other races out there potentially. And just that we don't have the technology to get to them, and they don't have the technology to get to us necessarily. Or if they do, they may have been and contacted us, and the government are keeping it a secret. Um, because they know that if we did, did know, we don't have the facility to actually fight against them, so they don't want to cause mass hysteria. Um, yeah, there is. Um, I do believe in soulmates. I do believe that, but I do I do not believe that there is one soulmate for each person. I just believe that you get reincarnated, and each lifetime the same souls do sometimes sink in with each other. So therefore, you attach yourself to people that you have attached yourself to in the past, and it's why when you meet someone and you're just talking to them and all of a sudden you feel like you've known them all your life yet you've probably known them about an hour the reason is is that you've known them in a previous life and um, so that's my belief of soulmates a bit different to what most people believe but you know 
Um, I believe in a version of Heaven and Hell, um, but it's more of a... I believe that Heaven and Hell is kind of more of a how you were treated before you go to your next life. Um, do you believe in kissing on the first date? Um, on a first date, I expect tongues, because then I know that you like me. So yeah, I do believe in um, kissing on the first date. It's a good way to know that you're in the same frame of mind. And if you're not, it puts the other person in a position to say, well, I'm not ready for this. And then you know that they're potentially not actually interested in you, or that they want to take steps. So it's a great way of judging what, what you're wanting from the relationship as well. Um, so yeah, kiss on the first day. Actually, I'm going to say, tongues on the first day. And lastly, do I believe in myself? Um, so do I believe in myself? I believe that we are all unique. I believe that we are all, we are all part of the same universe. We're all part of the same world and we all have our place in that world. So I the myself that I believe in is that I'm here to make people happy and make people laugh. That's what I want to do and that's who I am. And I'm a very happy person and I believe that if I want something, I will get it. I need to put it out there and if I put it out there, it will happen. And that's what I'm doing with the YouTube channel. And um, so that was the get to know me tag. So yeah, we'll leave it there. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like it. Click subscribe if you want to see more videos from myself. Leave comments if there's anything that you want to see from me. If there's any other tags that you want to see to get to know me better. Um, leave them all down in the comments below. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Bye now. Really, bitch. I've actually just realised that wearing this t-shirt I should have really said focus focus because then this makes more sense then doesn't it? T-shirt, t-shirt, t <laughs> love t-shirt, t-shirts, I'm obsessed. Um, but of course Chris says, guys, stay. Um, I've just got to make it drag him white and or something. Um, if he's on a leash you understand why. PC Master Race! So Chris basically has two years to propose to me. So I think I'd be a good dad slash mum. Because I've always said that I've, if I had kids, I'd want them to call me mum. Because I have a better mental association with mum. And I think that the role that I would play in their life would be the role of a mum. I, I know it would be very controversial and people would be very anti me saying that. So whatever bitch stole my shoes, I will find you one day and I will cut you. But I think that's going to be something I'll come back to in a later video. He says as he sees something flying around in front of his face. Fluff. Wasn't it actually? It's fine. Just as my sister starts sending me messages. Jesus, what the hell? <sighs> I can't even... I can't even. Put your dreams out there and they may happen.